Hey, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Ilo One and I'm back with another video for you guys today. So welcome to my very first video today um, for my Forex channel. So the first thing which we'll be discussing in this channel is how to treat Forex like a business. You know, a lot of people are trading Forex, right? But they don't see consistency. And what is the reason for that? Firstly, it's because they do not have a trading plan. And as a business, it cannot run without a, a, a plan, you know. Every business has a plan, has a general. They need to know how much stock comes in a business. They need to know how much uh, stock is going out or is being sold and how much they've made in a day. It's the same way in a forest uh, industry. You cannot make money or you cannot be consistent if you do not have a plan, you know. A plan gives you an edge in the, in the forex market, you know. You can have a good trading plan, uh, I mean a good trading uh, strategy. But if you do not have a good trading plan, it will not help you. It will, you, it will not make you consistent, you know. That's why a lot of traders are not consistent. And today, I'll be here to give you step by step how to make a proper uh, trading plan, you know. And the first thing... Uh, I would like to share with you guys is that if you want to build a trading plan, do not build a trading plan because everybody's building one. You know, build a trading plan because you want to use it. Because if you just build a trading plan that everybody's building, you will not see consistency or you will not follow the trading plan. If it's you made a trading plan because you want to follow it, trust me, you will follow you will follow each and every step and which can help you to become consistent. You know, so what are the, what is the first thing which uh I would like to tell you is that put action in your trading plan you know as much as you write it down work on it because if you just write it down it's useless it's pointless you know you need to put down it into action and trust me this is what personally i did not believe in i thought a trading plan is just you know just to act uh, professional and actually this 2023 i started using a trading plan and i saw a very big difference in my trading um in my trading uh career and firstly as you can see, I'm in a trade which is running a beautiful profit. If you want me to show you how I trade, I will show you in the next video. Just comment, thank you, and I'll share. I will show you how I trade. So the first thing which we'll be looking at is the basic element of a trading plan. And the first thing which is trading plan, it is not a strategy. A trading plan is what helps you to keep your strategy well. What helps you to keep trading according to your strategy because you can have a strategy if you don't have a plan for it you will not trade according to your strategy you hear me okay now what's the first thing which you would like to look at sorry by the way i wrote it down so i have to read while looking down okay, cool before you you create a trading plan right you need to know your why why are you trading forex you know you cannot tell me you're trading forex because you want you're seeing people having money or you're seeing people becoming rich that is not a, a why you should trade forex because if you are driven by money you will quit because as and in the beginning you will not see money you know at the first in the beginning money will not come you will take even six months without seeing profit at all you will you will lose in and out in and out and if you forex if you, you if you focus more into money you will quit but if you have a more uh, goal or reason why you are trading forex it will keep pushing you to trade no I'll give you a few examples, right? If you have a why, you are trading Forex. Firstly, it will motivate you when in your bad days, when you don't see profit, when you don't, your profits are not uh, as good as, your, as you, you, you expected. If you have your why, it will push you more into focusing, into building your strategy even more. Firstly, I'll give you an example of me, how, why I trade Forex. Firstly, I love time. Forex give me much time. Uh, in a little time, I can trade and do whatever which I want. You know and the next reason is that i love trading you know i love business and this is what my why i trade forex so let's jump into the next step is the next thing we're going to talk about is figure yourself out you know you have to find to know yourself you know what suits you better what do you love doing you know so that you can be able to create a good trading plan you know firstly you need to know am i anger type do i have anger issues do i have a short temper am i patient am i risk taking those are the some some of the factors which you have to look at before you actually think of having a trading plan. You know, ask yourself, you no, know, am I am I short tempered? Do I have do I think to do do I hesitate to take a trade? You know, am I how long can I can I keep my trades? You need to find all, all those factors. You know, secondly, now find out what strategy works for you. What type of strategy works for you? You know. 
Because if you have hunger issues, you cannot take a strategy which, if you are not patient, you cannot take, you cannot be a day, you cannot be a swing trader. You, can, you have to be a scalper if you are not patient in the market. A person like me, I'm an intraday trader, you know. I don't know, I, I scalp sometimes, but mostly I leave my, my trade run throughout the day until it hits my target. You know, that's the type of uh, strategy which I use, you know. So find out what type of a strategy which will suit you better, which will allow you to stay in the market or to actually make profit in the market. Do not take a strategy because you find someone else doing it and you also want to implement that same strategy or that same trading plan because it will not work. We all don't see the market the same way, you know. How I see the market is not, it may not be the same way as how you want to see the market, you know. So you have to train your eyes to see the market in your personal way because if you are, you are a scalper, I will not see what you're going to see. If you are a swing trader, I will not see what you see. And if you are a day trader, I may also not see what you see because we are trading different strategies. You get me? Cool. So the next thing which you, you have to look at that, there is no such thing as a best strategy, you know. A strategy is good if it has a good trading plan, you know. You can have the best strategy, but if you do not implement a good trading plan, that strategy, it is useless, you know. It is useless. And the next thing I'll tell you, stop changing from strategy to strategy because I was also once there. You know, keep one strategy and keep building it, keep practicing it, keep making it better. And trust me, with time, you will see a profit as the same thing as me. I never used to see uh, profits with my strategy, but the more I kept putting time in it, the more I kept learning the strategy, I came to understand that, OK, this is what suits me better when I use the strategy. And this is how I should have been using it, you know, which is good because I took time to learn it. I did not uh, keep changing from strategy to strategy because that you will not see profit, you know. Do not look at money because someone else is making money. You also want to make money. No. Money will come. Do not follow money now. Now follow what is best, which is the skill, you know. Once you master the skill, trust me, money will be nothing. Money will come. You know, it's all about time. Same thing as me. I'm not rushing the process, you know. I'm taking step by step. It can take me another year maybe to become a great trader or a professional trader. Because right now I cannot tra uh, call myself a professional trader. I'm just... A trader you know which i'm trying to, I'm, I'm starting to see consistent which is good for me yeah yes which is good for me sorry my screen is off i didn't actually see that the next thing which i would like us to look at is your strategy you know there are certain things which you have to look at before you actually choose a strategy which will suit you right firstly when you're looking at the strategy right have at least three time frames which you can check it up you can check out as for me i'll give an example as for me i have three uh, time frames which i look at that time frame, which is the four hour time frame. And that one helps me with the market direction. You know, I have to know, are we bullish or are we bearish? That's what helps me to look at, you know, it's the four hour. If I, if, because I'm a day tra uh, intraday tra trader, I do not have to go to the daily to see what's happening in the daily because uh, that is too, the, it's too big for me. After the four hour, I drop to the 15 minute time frame. And that's where I find my points of interest. I find my POIs which um, some smart money concept people call it. The POI, I find my order blocks in the 15 minutes, you know, and I wait for price to come in the point of interest before I enter my, tr my, my trade. And once it enters my point of interest, I drop down to the five minute, which I, that's where I can find my entries. Or sometimes I do drop to the one minute to get even better entries. And that's sometimes if I want to use confirmation entries, you know, that is uh, my time frame, how I use my time frame. The second thing which you have to look at is the sessions. What type of sessions do you like trading? Do you love trading London session? Do you love trading New York session? Do you like trading Tokyo or Asia? It depends with where you are. As for me, I'm in South Africa and I'm two hours ahead of London session. So once London session starts, as in like now, my London session starts by me, nine o'clock, you know, which is suitable for me. You know, I can wake up, um, seven or eight o'clock i prepare myself and at nine o'clock i can be able to check what type of entries i can get you know so it will be different with you maybe you you go to work maybe you are working you know you may not have time to trade in the morning so find what time frame which will suit you better and the next thing which i'll tell you different pairs do move at different times you know they are volatile, they are volatile at their own time as is for me i have my own pairs which i do look at which they move beautifully um uh, in London session and sometimes I do trade the New York open cool the next thing which you, you also have to look at is that have a good 
proper risk management you know that's the most important thing you know you can have a good trading plan you can have a good strategy but if your ma risk management is bad trust me you will not stay in the game for a long run and then the thing which allows you to stay in the game for the long run is your trade your risk management be able to risk good and as for me i will advise for the new traders only risk one percent or less of your account you know secondly you have to put money which you are willing to risk do not put money your last money and expect a miracle because here we do not trade uh, with miracle we trade through experience through what we have learned and if you are still learning do not put money which you cannot afford to lose put money that will allow you to have some emotion but not too emotional because if you put the entire money you will trade using emotions and you will not trade using your plan and your strategy cool that's the most important thing as i said only risk one percent or if you are more of a risky person i would advise you to risk at least three percent because that can also allow you to stay in a game for longer for example if you take a trade um uh, a 10 hour trade which is one is to 10 risk to reward let's say i put one percent and uh i gain ten percent which is beautiful if i had a thousand uh dollar account and i risk uh, i mean i gain ten percent which is a, a hundred dollar which is very good you know in a day if you can be making consistently like that you can have a good money you can have a money which people go to work for you know you do not have to risk the 40 percent or 20 percent that will not keep you in the game for longer you know it will not if you have a um, risky problem have two accounts have one account where you can be blowing and have one account which you treat like a business you know because in the business you they do not make um 100 percent in a month or what they have small but in time that's where um it works you know they count the compounding you know every time every month you keep ending 20 percent 10 percent 20 percent 10 percent 30 percent and that is why you're gonna see your account even growing quicker you know instead of you blowing it's better you take time building your account cool the next thing which i would like to look at is your goals you know have goals if you want to 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 be profitable in the market you need to have realistic goals you know uh, uh, the advice which I'll tell you is that split your goals into, you know, sections. You may have daily goals, you may have monthly goals, you may have weekly goals, you know. As for me, I'll give an example of a daily goal. Maybe your daily goal is to follow your strategy every time you take a trade. And that is a good goal, you know. Every time you know, okay, my goal for today is to trade according to my plan and according to my strategy. Which will help you in the long run, you know, to keep your uh, trading according to your strategy. And your weekly goal can be maybe... Uh, only not losing more than 10 percent of my, my account you know it's good which will allow you to have more risk taking more caution of your trades you know how many trades can you take in a day how many trades can you take in a you know in a week that can allow you to reach that type of a goal and your monthly goal or yearly goal is to maybe have uh 10 percent growth in your account or 20 percent or 100 percent growth in in a year in your, in your account which is good it's, it's a good trade you know have realistic goals do not tell me that your goal is to buy a mansion in the next five years because you just won one trade it doesn't work that way you know you need to build a proper a realistic goal you know no, do not have goals of money because if you you're, you you're driven by money as i said in the beginning you will not see profit you know it's all about the time you know slowly but surely have realistic goals which you can tackle time by time and lastly do not have uh goals which will take forever or do not have goals which will pressurize yourself have goals which you can manage to to tackle them you know and the next thing which i would like to speak about right now is documentation how you generally trade you know firstly i have a, a spreadsheet which i personally use which i got it from uh black girl trades i'll show uh, a channel here please go and check out um that video which she explains more uh, on how she uses this spreadsheet because i got it from her thanks a lot i'll put a link of that video in my description so after this go and check it out how you can journal your trade because she explains everything in that video cool have a journal which you can be able to see how you take your trade and why you take your trade be able to screenshot your trade and put them in your journal so that tomorrow or in the next one week you can still go to your trade and see okay this is the mistake i did in this trade that is why it didn't work out you know that is why i'm getting good results uh if you want to trade like me again please comment thank you in this uh, in the comment section and i'll explain to you how i take trades like this one cool and the next thing be able to write down your emotions how are you feeling throughout the trade 
And there are people who are too emotional or they're too sensitive to their emotions. So be able to write them down so that you do not make a um, bad decision while trading. You may not revenge trading or you may not, um, uh, you know, like be greedy in the market. That can help you, you know, when you write down your, your emotion. And when you write them down, you can be able to actually uh, notice them. Okay, now I'm feeling like this and this is what I should do to not make bad dec uh, decisions. Cool. And the last thing which I would like to speak right now is affirmations. If you want to motivate yourself, have good affirmation. Tell yourself, I'll be a good forex trader. I'll be a successful forex, forex trader. Tell yourself, I'll be successful. I'll be rich. I'll, 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 I will make it in this industry, you know. Tell yourself good things so that it can motivate you to reach to your goal, you know. I don't know if you, you got any um, lesson in this, in this video. As it's my first video, please subscribe. And share it with your friends, all your Forex traders. Let's grow together because I'm here to share all my experience on what I've learned about the Forex market. As I said, if you want to learn more on how I will trade, please comment. Thank you in the uh, comments below and I will share the video very soon. Hope to see you soon again. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'm done for today. Peace.